Okay guys, take number 2459 because I can't seem to be able to talk or speak uh, or put in the information that I want to put in the in intro. Today I've been at the gym, I've done a push session which you're gonna see in a minute but I forgot something in the last video which was the working set of Tom. Uh, he had a great, great deadlift session and somehow I didn't put in his uh, working set, so take a look at it. He did four five reps on 240 kilos probably could have done 10 so that was very very good uh, and like i said before i really want to uh, showcase how good those athletes are so when things are loosening up for tom i'm very happy so hopefully he continue this trend and will be pulling some big weights very soon uh, on friday we're visiting norway's strongest deadlifter he pulled 380 kilos last year and hopefully he will be able to, you know, close up on that uh, big Norwegian record, which is held by Ariel Haugen back in like 2011 or something like that. That is 400 kilos. So we'll see on Friday how strong he is. He is big as a house, he's like 150 kilos. So uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't uh, miss that because that's gonna be cool. Also, um, one of the contenders from Norway's Strongest Man, Powerlifter Victor, is also joining the session on Friday. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, I'm just actually driving to Trondheim and back on the same day, uh, which ain't ideal when I'm doing deadlift, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I pulled uh, my lat a little bit when I was training with Tommy. Back on last Tuesday, uh, I hope it were better on Saturday. I tried to pull 190 and I tweaked it a little bit more. But now uh, it seems to be a little bit better and hopefully I'll be able to pull a little bit over 300 kilos on Friday, uh, hopefully. And uh, not keep up with the guys because they're very, very, very strong. But uh, hold my own. Today I did some push, uh, did some push press, mostly because I've been uh, Talking a little bit with Bjorn Andre, and he, you know, he gets stronger in push just by walking past the gym. And last week he did like 160 kilos for the push press, and uh, I can see if I can put it in the video. Uh, and this week he did like a double on 150. So uh, with me, my lousy technique, you can see how that went. <laughs> it looks like uh, it looks a little bit special, but uh, it is what it is, and. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I will be training a little bit push press, but nervous system and things like that, uh, I need to uh, be objective so it doesn't affect my deadlifting because that is the goal at hand to really be strong in December.
<laughs> okay guys, so I actually can't believe I'm this weak. <sighs> it's only 130 kilos on the bar and I had a hope that I had been a little bit stronger because I did this like one week after the show. Uh, I will try to change the technique a little bit just because I'm so tight. My Even my hands are a little bit too tight now, even without this. This is the furthest I can go, so when the bar really should lay up here, it is a problem. And on top of that, can't fit the bo uh, bar down on my collarbone. So when I push through with my legs, it kind of bounces off my uh, shoulders and chest, and that's not good in either. So we'll try once more with a little bit wider grip, and hopefully 130 can go move a little bit quicker, and hopefully it can go up even higher. Let's see. I think that was better. We can go up 140 and hopefully get like two reps. Then I will be happy because it's like an internal battle now with myself just because I've been talking to Jörn André and he did like 160 last week that's his second or third session of push pressing so I don't want to compare me to him because he's a lot better than me but it is a lot you know it's very inspiring and very motivating to see somebody that strong and really can you know just get back in the gym and lift crazy amount of weights so let's try it yes. uh, so 140 you know last year pressing was very very good especially when it comes to chest you know uh, but when i tore my chest you know i can't seem to get like those heavy loads because it kind of freaks me out or scares me a little bit as soon as you know uh, something moves in my chest because it's still a wire uh, in my chest that's holding it all together and I have no idea if it's gonna break or if it's gonna hold or how long it's take my body to really get back to if it can get back to you know, as strong as I was. But then again, we just have to try. So 140. Hopefully it will move quite good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Technique ain't there at all. Strength is probably there, but can't seem to find like the right path to get to the top. So we'll see. I tried for a second one, it was okay, but it wasn't that heavy, it was just weird. So we'll keep trying a little bit more push press over the next couple of weeks, but if it taxes my nervous system too much. I'll just go for deadlift because deadlift is priority number uno. Okay, so just just like with grip when it comes to pressing, I tend to cheat a little bit. So what I do when I train shoulder press dumbbells, I usually Scoot my ass out and elevate my chest so I end up here pressing mostly with my upper chest and because I'm you know chest dominant that's always been the case but now really want to get strong shoulders 
So I tried to do it the right way this time, but it probably won't look nice. These oh, are 53 kilos, quite heavy. Oh, I should like put on some equipment, but okay. Do this, the dog looks horrendous on the camera. For the rest of the workout, we just do squeezing and you know, shit that ain't funny. So, that will be it. Like, subscribe, see you next time.